What's up? It's Stealth. Back here with another video, another sports video. Today we're going to be going over what happened in the NFL and what happened in the NBA. So, let's go. So, let's get started off with the major scores from on Sunday. The Seahawks were able to edge the Patriots 35-30. 49ers were able to clap with the Jets 31-13, to even though they were pretty much, you know, lifeless. The Cowboys edged the Falcons. And the Falcons, you know, they blew their biggest lead. Since 28-3, the infamous Super Bowl 51, the Chargers actually rallied back to the Chiefs 23-20 in overtime, and the Raiders won the first game in Las Vegas last night. The Jets look like the Jets at their finest. They're absolutely horrible Jets. I'm not becoming a Giants fan. That's out of the question. But... The Jets are just the Jets. And you know, the Seahawks are my B team. I'm gonna say that now. The Seahawks definitely my B team. And um, they didn't score a touchdown until the fourth quarter with a minute left. It was pretty much garbage time. It, it was horrible. Just please fire the head coach. Make me the head coach. I'd be a better head coach than this guy. All right, injury report. Jimmy Garoppolo in the several weeks are high after training. Christian McCaffrey also has a high ankle sprain. Uh, Drew Locke, a shoulder injury. Um, Justin Herbert, uh, he, uh, he gets a surprise start. You know, he was a star because his name's Justin. You know, us Justins, we just have this star power in us. You know, it's just uncontrollable. He's gonna be a star in the NFL. Tyrod Taylor had a chest injury. Raheem Moser has to miss minimal time with the sprint MCL. Saquon Barkley, Cortland Sutton, and Nick Bosa all out for the season with torn ACLs. Not looking pretty. And in the NBA, Anthony Davis helps the Lakers edge the Nuggets 105 to 103. With the buzzer beater shot, Celtics beat the Heat 117 to 106. Series is now 2 to 1 for Miami. 